Hi everyone, I'm Marcio, you probably know me as Divagant from DC Fan Forums and I'm making this tutorial on how to configure Valve Amer Editor 3.4 uh, Why 3.4? Because it works for Half-Life 1 or Gold Source Engine uh, while Valve Amer Editor 4 is for the Source Engine that's for example Counter-Strike Source um, this is the program used to edit the maps you're going to use on Half-Life Half-Life mods, you can use it to Counter-Strike 1.6 Day of Defeat 1.3 Team Fortress Classic etc. There's a lot of mods you can do I'm making this tutorial because, well, I like to make games for the Dreamcast uh, Well, we start up by opening up Armor it's At first use you're going to be popped up a window asking if you need the assistance, just say no and then this, this is going to pop up uh, we start by going to game configurations and let's edit configurations let's add a new one, let's call it for example agile one uh, these are like the configurations presets each one equals to a series of configurations you can use for example one for Half-Life 1 another for Counter-Strike 1.6 etc Next. For the preset we made, we're going to choose a game data file, which is a file in which there are the configs for the game. Um, in your Valvamer editor folder, you're going to find another folder co called FGD. You open it up. There are various uh, FPG config files for each game. We are going to use of life. Uh, texture format, leave it be. Uh, by the way, what three or dot was files are the textures packages. Think of them as zip files of images, which are the textures you're going to use in your map. Uh, map type of life, of course. Default point entity class. We are going to use info player start. This is the object in which the player starts. Uh, it's the first entity you're going to use, so let it be. Um, here, funk breakable for the same reason. Now, uh, let's imagine you have Half Life installed here. True or fake, I don't care. Uh, I use a fake one, no need to know. Uh, so, let's imagine. Our Half-Life uh, folder is here. This is the folder where agile.execute is. Next, we are going. Let's jump out this one. I'll explain later. Game directory. Um, there's one need, one thing we always need to know. The Gold Source engine is based off Half-Life One. The rest of the games, Counter-Strike, The of Defeat, Team Fortress, are all based in Half-Life One engine and uh, Half-Life 1 is on the folder you chose slash valve this is wor where all Half-Life 1's files are except for executables and DLLs etc uh, the mod directory if you were modding for Counter-Strike Search for example we would choose C-Strike for the defeat slash load etc since we are modding for Half-Life we are going to use the game directory which is a uh, slash valve N uh, no, rmf directory this is like uh, your backup directory uh, your valve armor editor folder has one, as a, has one folder for this as a preset called maps I never used it but well, who cares now, uh, to build programs this is the game executable this is going to be your uh, main directory agile.execute uh, if you are going to use strike, this is probably something like this no, sorry something like this uh, but if you have doubts just go to your shortcut copy paste uh, now, csv, bsp, vs and cad executables are the compilers you are going to use to compile your map 
which one is responsible for a different thing. For example, red uh, corresponds to lightning, this uh, corresponds to visible uh, map, BSP is to the map itself, the ground, the walls, etc. CSG are the entities, the objects, the players, the ammo, the weapons on the ground, the enemies, etc. All of the four are located on the Valve Meredith folder slash tools. Choose the, the right one for each one. Name is the same. Now this is the place where compile maps go. Uh, this will go to your mod folder in our case Wolf. If you uh, would mod for Counter-Strike 1.6 it would be C-Strike. Always slash map. This is the place where your compiled map is going to be. You can use it uh, some other place and then copy paste but I, I prefer to do it this way. Uh, to finish, you add up textures. Uh, the word files I was talking about, zip texture files. Um, if you have a fake Half-Life, you're going to find plenty of words in your um, Half-Life folder, in your Valve, slash Valve folder. There is the original uh, word file called Half-Life.word. Uh, if you have original Half-Life, um, all the, the word files are um, are in like a raw file, you know, but uh, you there are tools to uncompile that, but I, in that case I advise you to download some WODs or make the WODs yourself with a program called Wally. It's not complicated, it's very easy, easy to use, you just have to, to make each, each texture uh, dimensions. It's gotta be a multiple of 8 it's not hard, but uh, probably you have a fake of life and you're going to use for a start this file you just edit, in case you have to remove while you're editing anything when you change a uh, map, when you're doing two maps in the at the same time and then you have to remove a word, you're going to have to restart the program apply, ok uh, shut down the program, open up again, file new and you're ready to make maps for Half-Life 1 thanks for listening thanks to all dcfan.net or RA at the season zone everyone who has been helping me with my projects I'm very thankful to all hope to see you soon